Hello, my name is Jenny. I'm a teaching artist at the De Young Museum. This is going to be my second art talk with you. Last week, when the theme was exploring the world, we discussed the work of Alan Otswee. This week, I would like to introduce you to another artist who has work in the museum's collection, sculptor Louise Nevelson. The theme this week is shaping stories and Louise's work and life is a fascinating story. Louise was born in 1899 in present day Ukraine. When she was a young girl, she moved with her family all the way to Rockland, Maine. She lived until she was 88 years old. The first time Louise remembered experiencing art was when she was nine and she went to her local library in Rockland and she saw a plaster cast of Joan of Arc. Like Ellen Otswe, Louise Nevelson often worked with found and recycled material, especially wood. In fact, Louise Nevelson called herself, she referred to herself as the original recycler. When she was a girl, uh, growing up in Rockland, Maine, her father owned a junkyard. So even when she was small, she enjoyed collecting scraps and turning those scraps into works of art. She also enjoyed watercolor painting. When was the last time you used a found material in your artwork? Let's take a look at one of Louise Nevelson's artworks in the museum's collection, Sky Cathedral's Presence, created from 1959 to 1962. If you were standing in front of this artwork, you would have to probably stand pretty far back to see the entire piece because it stretches nearly 10 feet tall. Just like during our last Art Talk conversation, I'd like to ask you some questions about what you are seeing. You can talk with someone with you at home, or a pet, or even a stuffed animal, or you could talk with me. What do you see? What is going on here? I remember sometime last year looking at this work of art with a group of children, and one child shared that each little compartment, each little section of this piece made her think of different worlds, that each part was its own world. Let's move closer to see a detail. Now what do you see? We discussed how Louise Nevelson often used found pieces of wood in her art. What could any of these fragments you see have been originally used for? Is it hard to tell? Why is that? Louise Nevelson often disguised the objects that she used in her artwork by painting them either black or white monochromatic colors. By doing this, she transformed the meaning of the objects into something entirely new. When we look at Louise Nevelson's work, we're being invited to look very closely and to make discoveries about the objects. Here's another sculpture of Nevelson's. This piece is called Black Moon. Louise Nevelson was a dedicated artist. She created art day after day, year after year, until finally, when she was in her 50s, she became nationally recognized for the work that she had been creating for a very long time. When she was a young artist living in New York City, Louise Nevelson, along with her young son, would scavenge their neighborhood for scraps of wood in order to heat their home. It was with these scraps of wood that she would also create the artwork that she would later become so celebrated for. I hope you enjoyed learning about Louise Nevelson. Are you ready to scavenge for objects throughout your home? 
If you are, I have a special project for you that involves transforming everyday objects into something entirely new, just like Louise Nevelson did, except rather than paint, we will use tin foil. Have fun, and I hope to see you soon.